It's when I watch my kids play that I'm reminded of the magic and wonder in life. I'm reminded of the importance to be in the now, to find time to be still, in the quiet, surrounded by nature, to be in awe of all that I'm surrounded by. Well, after two years of trying to avoid it, the virus ended up catching us. It hasn't been too bad, it just kind of feels like a head cold for us and um, extra fatigued. I think because I'm still in the recovery stages of my surgery, which you would have heard about on Instagram, I'm just feeling extra fatigued. It's funny because when I filmed the video footage of the girls at the beach. It was the day before school holidays were ending and I felt this element of sadness that they were going back to school and kinder. It just felt like since my surgery, which by the way, I, I plan on having a YouTube video out about it and it was going to be my first video back, but then we got the virus, so change of plans. But yeah, I guess I have been in this nice little cocoon of stillness and quietness and being at home with the family, working behind the scenes in my business. So working on the business and not in the business. And the day that we we're at the beach, I felt this, not, an not anxiety, but like, I just didn't feel quite ready to get back into life. I felt it as well the next day at school with the crowd of people around me. I just didn't feel like I was ready to leave my cocoon. And then that day, that afternoon, my husband tested positive. And so we've been in isolation since and my girls ended up with it and I have too. So I've just been sleeping the last couple of days and just trying to enjoy being at home, being with family, resting watching the kids play, spending time together as a family, not feeling like we need to be anywhere or do anything, but to just be in this moment and to take care of ourselves and nurture ourselves. Going into a one week isolation has taught me that I'm learning to adapt and accept the things I cannot change. I'm learning to be resilient and to pivot 
when I need to. If you are an INFJ in business, then you are probably someone who loves to have a lot of structure and planning. In fact, you are probably someone who has done a lot of research and planned out your business and business week in a methodical and well thought out way. But what happens when a spanner is thrown into the works? Like what happened to me with just suddenly being put into isolation. It can be quite unsettling and the INFJ does not cope well with unexpected change, especially sudden change. But the fact is in business, and in life, we cannot always plan for the unplanned. To succeed in business and to live a life that is more calm and at peace, we need to find acceptance in this. Yes, plan, research, put structures in place, but also allow breathing space for those unexpected sudden changes. Breathe through it, accept that at some point it's gonna happen, and know that as an INFJ in business, you will know that everything will be okay.